City. This is Jeremy Clark from Queen City Signature here and uh, I wanted to sort of introduce you to what we are calling our sauna series. Um, this is sort of the, the first episode of a series that we're going to be using to, uh, to talk about uh, different aspects of the sauna, what it's good for, what it's used for, things like that. Now the reason we're doing it like this, um, Carrie and I sort of talked about um, trying to figure out the best way to go about, you know, sort of um, going over the different aspects of the sauna and uh, we started mapping it out and it was going to turn into a really long video and I'm long-winded enough as it is. Um, I just didn't think anybody would have the patience to sit through all that. Um, but also the other thing is like there are so many different aspects to the sauna. It could be a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And so I didn't necessarily want to um, say bore uh, somebody who is looking for say athletic recovery uh, and talking about the uh, you know the sort of holistic benefits of it uh, you know if you're um, if you're a 42 year old single mom who, who finally got a hold of a babysitter for the first time in God knows how long uh, and you're just looking for a, sort of a, a getaway for the afternoon sort of a, a Calgon take me away moment um, then that that's great. I mean, the sauna is great for that. But there are, like, say, if you're a 24 year old um, guy that's uh, into obstacle course racing or or a high school athlete, something like that, um, the sauna is great for that too. But they're completely different worlds. It just so happens it covers a lot of ground. So so we're gonna break up the the sauna series into different episodes so you can sort of pick and choose. Um, and this is also a good opportunity to tell you guys about our YouTube channel. Uh, Queen City Signature now has a YouTube channel um, under the name Queen City Signature and we'll put some links uh, with this post so you can check that out and all the episodes will be listed in order so you can sort of take the ones that, um, you know, sort of watch the, uh, the episodes that, um, that you're most interested in. Um, try to keep the videos, uh, you know, sort of as short as possible. Um, there, are, there are a bunch of resources out there when it comes to sauna and we would be happy to share those with you if you want to get really deep into the science behind it um, and all that. But this will be a great way to get everybody started and uh, sort of give you an overview of what the sauna is all about. Um, now today what we're here to talk about is um, what I call sauna 101. And that is, um, there are actually some instructions or, or rather a guide that I put together um, based upon some of the feedback and questions that we've been getting through the Facebook page uh, about how the sauna works and different aspects of it. And um, it's pretty helpful um, for those who maybe aren't super familiar with the sauna but are here to use it. But um, if you're one of those people that maybe have had those questions and it's those things that are kind of keeping you from checking it out, then the, the sauna 101 guide is not gonna do you any good because you're never gonna see it. Um, so this is what we're here to talk about uh, today so you guys can kind of get an idea of what it's all about and it's sort of an overview of that. Um, first things first, a question we get a lot is dress code. As in like, what should I wear? Is there a dress code? And the short answer is there, there really isn't one. Uh, we have a wardrobe that we keep in the corner um, with clothes hooks so you can, you can hang your clothes. We provide terry cloth uh, robes and slippers, things like that. Uh, me personally, what I do, I just have a pair of running shorts uh, that I use and, and that's about it. Um, and uh, it's each sauna session is individual. Uh, they're single sauna sessions and so they're completely private. So whatever you're most comfortable with, uh, that's, that's what you should do. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about is the control panel on the sauna itself. Now, when you book a sauna session about a uh, half an hour or so before your appointment, our guest experience coordinator will come in, make sure the, the, studio, the sauna studio is ready to go, and they'll go ahead and preheat your sauna to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, 130 degrees doesn't sound like a lot, especially if you're used to like a steam sauna, uh, but this is an infrared sauna, so the short version is it heats you from the inside out. We'll dedicate a future episode to how the whole infrared spectrum works. But 130 is a really good place to start if maybe um, you're not used to an infrared sauna or if you don't use it super consistently. Uh, but the control panel is super easy to use and you can adjust the temperature. It's literally just an up and down arrow. Um, so you can adjust that temperature yourself. Um, to lower the temperature, the easiest way to do it is set it where you want it, but then open the door to the sauna and within 30 seconds, it comes down pretty quickly. Um, to raise the temperature, hit the up arrow, and as a general rule, it'll go one to two degrees Fahrenheit uh, per minute, is about how fast it raises. Um, 
The, uh, the other thing that's on the control panel is uh, your light switches. Um, there are two buttons, the one says the inside and one says the outside. Your inside lights are actually your overhead lights, uh, which are not on with the sun right now, but the outside light is this perimeter LED strip that, that's on now. It sort of gives you that, uh, that ambient glow. Um, the, uh, the violet that you're sort of seeing here is an accent. That is the chromotherapy module, which we'll talk about uh, just really briefly here in just a second. Uh, but uh, again, what I do is I will turn off all the, the room lights and then usually either use just the, uh, the outside lights or just the chromotherapy module itself. Um, but again, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you're here to accomplish, like that's, that's what you should do and use it for. But uh, more than anything, just wanted to kind of point out the control panel is super easy to use. Um, sort of along the same lines is the audio. The, uh, the Bluetooth or the sauna is Bluetooth enabled. It's always set to pair, so you, uh, you open up your Bluetooth on your, your phone and it'll show up as infrared sauna. And then you just go ahead and pair it and then you can play your you know, podcast, audiobook, whatever. Um, if for some reason you're having problems pairing with the Bluetooth, there's actually a little uh, access panel where you can uh, hardwire your device to the sauna itself. Uh, and, uh, and get that going. But you wanna make sure this, uh, this little chamber, I'm gonna call it, is, uh, is actually an insulated chamber. So you wanna make sure once you hook it up and you get it going, I would put my device inside there and close it off because it gets pretty hot in here and, it, and, and we don't wanna run the risk of uh, damaging your device. So you wanna play it safe there. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about is hydration. It's something that um, sort of seems like a no-brainer when you think about it, but you'd be surprised how many people will come in uh, and they're not hydrated before they start uh, and they can get uh, a little bit overwhelmed during their session. Um, the sauna can get pretty intense uh, anyway, so you wanna make sure that uh, you have all your ducks in a row uh, before, during, and after when it comes to hydration. So what, what I always do or try to do is within about 30 minutes of hitting the sauna, I will uh, drink about a quart of water, which is a little bit overkill. Uh, a nice tall glass will, will be just fine. And then we also provide a, a quart of water and a carafe uh, here as part of your uh, sauna session. If you have, say, like a 30 minute session and um, you start out and you're pretty well hydrated before you start, then, then you're fine to go your 30 minutes. Uh, and then uh, you'll want to rehydrate after. If you have a 60 minute sauna session, especially if you're not using the sauna super consistently, might not be a bad idea to take a break around 30 minutes in or so and uh, you know, let your heart rate sort of calm down a little bit, get a drink, have a chill, and then uh, finish out your, your sauna session. Uh, but then after you're, you know, it's all said and done, you're going to check out at the end of your session. Uh, if you want some more water, you wanna you know, have, a, have a chance to sort of like let your body calm down a little bit, that's what our lobby's for. And uh, our guest experience coordinator would be more than happy to get you as much water uh, as you need. But you wanna make sure you feel comfortable the whole time. It, uh, don't be afraid to kind of push yourself a little bit uh, if you're okay with that and that's your intention uh, behind your sauna use. Uh, but you want to make sure that, uh, that you're drinking plenty of water uh, throughout, uh, like I say, before, during, and after your session. Now, kind of going back to the, uh, the light therapy module, again, this is the, uh, it's actually on a separate remote you can see here, and you can set it manually, like right now I've got it set to violet, and you can bounce uh, you know, through different colors, or there is an auto setting on here, and you just hit the auto setting, and then it'll scroll through the different colors in the spectrum. Um, here on the other side, uh, there is a, a sort of a brief overview of the chromotherapy spectrum, uh, the different colors and what they're good for and things like that. Um, the, the effects of chromotherapy are super subtle, uh, but when used consistently, they've been shown to do a, a lot of good things. Um, again, I don't want to get too far into it because we're going to save the chromotherapy for a, a separate episode, but, uh, but yeah, it is an option. And like I say, sometimes I'll use, uh, for my entire sauna session, I'll kill all the lights except for that chromotherapy module and it's kind of nice. But if you don't want it, you don't need it. You can turn it off as well. Nice and easy. Um, last thing to talk about really quick is the use of the space itself. Now, let me climb in here real quick. I am just shy of 6'4", right? And so I can, but I can stand up inside the sauna. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty much all of me to, uh, to stretch out. So what I'll do usually is I'll set cross-legged uh, on the benches or sometimes 
Uh, I'll take the benches out. There are actually two benches in there uh, of equal size. So I'll take them out one at a time, super carefully, because the, the entire front of the sauna is glass. And I'll just set them outside here in the room. And then I can use that space for, say, like stretching or body weight exercises. I do like, you know, air squats, push ups, dive bombers, things like that. Um, or, or like say, just stretch it out. Um, I'm not super familiar with yoga. I don't, I don't uh, do it, but uh, that's what this sauna was designed for. That's why it is, uh, it has the space that it does, is, is it's set up to where you can do like a Bikram yoga session inside of the sauna. Um, so yeah, just you know, use whatever's comfortable. Some, sometimes, like um, if it's at the, the end of a day that I'd rather forget, um, then uh, I'll just kill all the lights and uh, listen to, uh, like I use Brain FM as like a, a meditation app, or you can use Headspace as a super popular one, um, or even just like some sort of like spa radio, like a Pandora station or something, and then just sort of like disappear for a bit. Uh, but sometimes like uh, I'm there to get something done, you know what I mean? So I'll go ahead and, uh, and do uh, a, a few sets of dive bombers or something like that while I'm using the sauna. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome, if, especially if you're someone who is a, sort of a casual athlete like, and uh, you're used to doing those things. It's a totally different dimension to do it while uh, in an infrared sauna. Uh, it's a lot of fun um, and it makes you feel great after it's all said and done. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for future episodes of the sauna series. And uh, as much as anything, if you would send us a direct message through the page or leave us a comment as part of the video, um, either uh, on Facebook or on YouTube, let us know what you think. Let us know what questions you might have about the sauna and uh, what you want to know more about. Um, there are there's a lot of different there's a lot of different directions you can go and a lot of detail you can get into. So we want to make sure that. Um, whether it's um, any of our permanent makeup, aesthetics, sauna massage, any of the services that we offer, like we obviously were here as a business to serve you guys. So we wanna make sure that we're giving you the experience that you want. Um, we wanna make sure that we're doing the best job possible. And we wanna make sure that um, we are a, a huge benefit um, to you as you, uh, you know, put life together. Um, so yeah. We definitely welcome your comments, your feedback. Please help us steer, help us by steering the conversation, and uh, we'll we'll go from there. Uh, thanks so much. I hope your day is great. I hope tomorrow is even better, and we'll talk to you soon.